Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022-23 Academic Excellence and Leadership Award Ceremony. The focus of this award, afternoon's award ceremony is to honor our returning cadets and officers. Please stand for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem. Please be seated. We are honored this afternoon to be joined by Major General Jerry Grizzle, our President and Superintendent, Colonel Orlando Grego, Dean of Academics, Chief Academic, Adv Academic Officer, Colonel Jose Porras, Vice Dean of Academics, High School Principal, Lieutenant Colonel Mike O'Neill, Junior ROTC, Senior Army Instructor. Today we recognize returning cadets and officers for their exceptional performance and significant accomplishments during the 2022-2023 school year. We are, reminded, we are reminded today of our continuing commitment to follow principles as outlined in our mission statement that reads, the mission of NMMI is to educate, train, and prepare young men and women to be leaders capable of critical thinking, sound analysis, leaders who possess uncompromising character and leadership, able to, be, able to meet challenging physical demand. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll begin today's ceremony by introducing our academic dean, Colonel Grego, for the academic awards portion of the program. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, cadets, ladies and gentlemen of the faculty and staff, Major General Grizzle and Mrs. Uh, Grizzle, uh, distinguished guests and friends, I am very pleased to welcome you on behalf of our faculty, staff, and administration to our celebration of academic excellence. But what is academic excellence? Confucius once said, the will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Academic excellence is similar. Academic excellence is the dedication to learning new knowledge. It is the pursuit of excellence in your chosen path. Having grown up on welfare and attended 14 different schools, I can tell you that education is the key to personal success. I am living proof of that. However, as future leaders of your generation, you will need to, be, to know more, be more committed, and put more effort than those before you. Luckily, your efforts at NMMI will prepare you to be those leaders. The meaning of excellence that we celebrate today is excellence in learning and effort. So we are here today to honor the achievements in learning, academics, leadership, athletics, the three pillars of the military approach to learning and achievements earned by our cadets. 
However, their accomplishments w certainly would not be possible without the support of two other groups who sit here today. First, parents and families. Cadets, please recognize your parents. And cadets, please recognize the faculty, coaches, TLAs, and staff who have guided you. And congratulations to all of you uh, for the awards that you're getting. It's quite an honor. I want to now introduce Major Jasmine Small Armstrong, Director of the Franklin Counseling Center, who will be the narrator for today's academic awards. Major Small Armstrong. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Colonel Porras. I'm the Vice Dean High School Principal. It is an honor and pleasure to, re to reward the hard work of our cadets. The awards we are presenting today are to recognize cadet recipients from last spring semester. First, Lieutenant Colonel Mia Yang, Associate Dean of Mathematics and Science, will present the awards for math and science. The High School Proficiency in Mathematics Award goes to Mr. William Rosser. The Physical Science Department Award for Proficiency in College Physics is presented to Colton Felmar. The Physical Science Department Award for Proficiency in High School Physics. The recipient is Mary Catherine Olvera. The Physical Science Department Award for Proficiency in High School Chemistry recipient is Isabella Moya. Physical Science Department Award for Proficiency in High School Earth Science recognizes Matthew Simmons.
The Biology Department Award for Outstanding Student of High School Biology is awarded to Lucas Tang. The Natural Sciences Award for demonstrating the greatest aptitude in high school science is awarded to Stephen Shu. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Yang. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Patricia Matchin, Associate Dean of the Humanities Division, will present the Humanities Award. <laughs> Patrick A. Grayton, 1900-1993, taught at NMI for 120 from 1927 to 1966, the longest record of continuous classroom teaching at the school. He was known to the cadets, faculty, and staff in later years officially as Pappy and respectfully as the Bard. At P.H. Grattan funeral in December 1993, Brian J. Grattan referred to his father as Second Bible, as being the plays of William Shakespeare. It is appropriate that this scholarship is in the name of the beloved but rigorous teacher whose former te uh, student and associates have also generously contributed to this endowment. <laughs> On behalf of the donors, Laureen and P.H. Grattan, it is my pleasure to present the Patrick A. Grattan Judge Top High School English Scholarship Award to this year's recipient, Cohen Thomasis. Olympia Top Scholarship in Philosophy. This award will be given to the student who is consistently prepared for class by completing all readings, taking notes, and being an active participant in class discussion. Most importantly, the recipient of this award will show a high level of intellectual curiosity. The recipient of this award is Stephen Swope. The English Department presents the award for Best English Student in Sixth Class to Adrian Themis. The student receiving the English Department Award for Best English Student in fifth class, Cohen Thomasis.
the English Department Award for Best English Student in Third Class, Jonah Pignon. The Modern Language Department recognizes students at each level of learning who demonstrate excellence in their respective courses. The following students have demonstrated excellence in Spanish. Samantha Moore. <laughs> Ivan Flores. Ivan Gomez. <laughs> the following students have demonstrated excellence in French. Alejandro Cordova Bertrán. <laughs> For excellence in Spanish as well, Isabel Gomez. The following students have demonstrated excellence in Chinese. Brandon Gunderson. <laughs> Lucas Tang. <laughs> Sylvia. Chu. The Excellence in College Photojournalism Class Award goes to Genesis Chavez. <laughs> Sabrina Tanner. The winner of the High School Drama Troupe Award is Juliana Lopez.
Richard K. Davis, 1948 high school grad, established the Frank T. Rice Alumni Memorial Creative Writing, Creative Writing Award in honor and memory of his friend and professor Frank T. Rice, NMMI, Junior College Class of 1934. As a professor, Frank Rice distinguishes himself as an inspiring teacher who instilled creativity in writing. Frank was a five-year cadet from Albuquerque graduating as a cadet major in the upper quarter of his class. Mr. Rice continued his education at the University of New Mexico and Cornell University. Philip Douglas Cook, high school class of 11, JC class of 13, was a six-year cadet who exemplified all the most important aspects of a cadet and the New Mexico Military Institute. He thrived in every aspect of the Corps. He excel, excelled in every academic subject, and he was an immensely talented writer. During his sophomore year of college, Philip Cook won both the Rice Creative Writing Contest and the Fulton Academic Writing Contest. After completing 15 hours of college English courses, he also graduated with the only English concentration that has been awarded since 2006. He was ranked second in his uh, graduating class, after which he enrolled in New Mexico Tech University, where he subsequently earned a degree in electrical engineering. Beginning in the spring of 2021, through a generous faculty donation, the, the Prose and Poetry Awards formally dis distributed through the Frank Rice Writing Contest now also include his name in memoriam. For poetry, honorable mention, Isabel Moya. Third place, Jessica Ward. Second place, Ariana Taylor. For, pro for pros, second place, Colin Knox. The pros winner is Maximilian Gehring. The Music Department's Concert Choir Award for Outstanding New Choir Member is Eric Kuhn. The Music Department's Concert, Concert Choir Award for Outstanding High School Member is Clarice Cole.
The Music Department Concert Choir Award for Outstanding College School member is Max Wignall. The Music Department Award for Excellence in Music Performance is presented to Mackenzie Kirsch. The Ted Hunt Award memorizes Lieutenant Colonel Ted Hunt, class of 1918, former bandmaster and alumni secretary. The Ted Hunt Award recognizes the most inspirational band member. This year's recipient is Gavin Gallegos. The Outstanding New Cadet Band Member receives the Captain Jack Fletcher Award. This year's recipient goes to Yaming Wu. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Matching. Sergeant Phoenix Michael of the United States Army Marine Corps will present the next award. The Semper Fi Fidelis U.S. Marine Foundation Award to the Outstanding Student of High School of High School Music is presented to Takey Praiserthon. Thank you, Sergeant Michael. The next awards will be presented by Major Cody Northrop, Associate Dean of Social Sciences and Leadership, Business and Criminal Justice. The Aline Hinkle McQuitty and Marine Fell Hinkle Award for American History Award recipient is Evan Kennedy. Yeah. The Social Science Department Award for Outstanding Student in high school world history recipient is Clarice Kohli. The Social Science Department Award to Outstanding High School Student of Global Studies recognizes Sylvia Shu.
The Woodman of the World Award to an Outstanding High School Student of American History is presented to Paulina Sanchez Escoto. The Business Department Award to a high school student attaining the highest score in high school business during the academic year is awarded to Alexander Kramer. The Social Science Department Award to Outstanding Student of College American Honors, Jackson Peters. The Social Science Department Award to Outstanding College Student of World History, presented to Malik Aliani. Thank you, Major Northup. Dean Griego, the Dean of Academics, will now present the following award. The Special Award. A number of our cadets received prestigious awards in the spring of 2023 semester. We would like those, we would like to re-acknowledge our young men and women who received these awards in the spring semester. Please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Now, the National Honor Society Award, which is a special award. National Honor Society Outstanding Continuous Scholar Award this year. The recipient is Ariana Gansikova. Thank you, Dean Rio. Colonel Griego will be presenting the following awards. The first class awards are based upon a class standing. First in class for the sixth class, Adrian Themis. Brandon Gunderson. Grant. Maloney.
John Sandoval. Leon Kaufman Martinez. Lucas Tang. <laughs> Sylvia Shu. Victoria Arnett. <laughs> Yaming Wu. Round of applause for the first in class, sixth class. And now, first in class for the fifth class, Cohen Thomasis. Matthew Cope. <laughs> Tegan Maloney. Victor, Victor Barbosa. First in class for the fourth class, Amelia Hull.
Arena Gansikova. Clarice Kohe. <laughs> Emilio Fontes Jimenez. Mary Catherine Olvera. The first in class for the second class, Kieran Meyer. Mackenzie Kirsch. <laughs> Noah Armijo. Seth Henry. <laughs> Sion Mau. One more time, one more time. Victoria Prusinska. Thank you, Colonel Griego. 
This concludes our Class of 2023 Academic Excellence Awards. It is now my pleasure to introduce Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Hovey. Thank you, Colonel Porras. We will now transition to the leadership portion of the program. Military Excellence Awards will pre be presented by our senior, our senior Army instructor and our superintendent. Lieutenant Colonel O'Neill will present the Junior ROTC Awards. The Daughters of American Revolution Award are presented to an outstanding cadet who is in the top 25% of their class and has demonstrated qualities of lo loyalty, patriotism, dependability, good character, adherence to military discipline, leadership ability, and a fundamental and patriotic understanding of the importance of the ROTC training. This year's Daughters of the American Revolutionary Award is presented to Mary Catherine Oliveira. The Special Forces Association 80th Chapter Award is presented to a cadet who demonstrated the highest level of leadership, education, and determined, and, and determined skills and abilities to train others. This year's Special Forces Award is presented to Isabella Moya. The Theodore M. Bennett Award recognizes the commander of the Goss Rifles High School Drill Team for his or her dedication and leadership throughout the school year. The Goss High School Drill Team commander for the 2023 school year was Bryce Frank. Army Recruiting Command Award is presented to the ROTC cadet in recognition for outstanding achievement and contributions to the Junior ROTC program. This year award recipient is Karenzi, Karenza Van Sickle. The U.S. Army Recruiting National Scholar Athlete Award is presented to the top two cadets who have excelled in, in MMI sports programs and have, had, have continuously maintained a GPA of 3.0 or higher. The top two cadets are Victor Barbosa and Clarice Colillo. The Military Officers Association of America Award is awarded annually to an outstanding college cadet who has demonstrated exceptional potential for military leadership as a member of the Reserve Officers Training Corps. This year's recipient is Evan Kennedy.
The Reserve Officer Association Award is presented to a cadet in recognition for outstanding achievement and exceptional leadership. This award recipient is Adriana Gonkonchevich. Gonchikova. Thank you, Colonel O'Neill. Major General Grissel, our President and Superintendent, will present the remaining rewards. The New Mexico Military Institute Alumni Award is presented to the Junior ROTC Cadet for outstanding achievement in marksmanship. This year's Silver Alumni Award is presented to Juliana Lopez. The Sam and Henry Pick Award for the most improved high school cadet, high school new cadet in each, each troop are as follows. From Alpha Troop, Octavian Chavez. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo Troop, Grant Maloney. <laughs> Charlie Troop, Samantha Moore. And from headquarters troop, Miguel Garcia. Yeah, wait your turn. The Colonel Evan R. Buck Wiles, 1930 high school graduate, 1932 junior college graduate award, is given to the best high school new cadet of each, each year for each troop. Colonel Wiles was a, was a 1930 and 1932 graduate of NMMI, a former president, a professor of military science, and a super, former superintendent. This year's Wiles Award winners are presented to the following cadets. From Alpha Troop, Alf Jordan Alta Moreno. <laughs> Bravo Troop, Sylvia Chu. <laughs> From Charlie Troop, Jessica Ward. <laughs> and from Delta Troop, Sal Rico. The Charles D. Fuller Award recognizes high school cadets with extraordinary marksmanship capabilities. The most improved high school cadet shooter this, this previous year was Clarice Cogillo. The XL Energy Award is presented annually to the commander of the best drilled company for the Junior ROTC program accreditation. This year's recipient is Rodrigo Menchenka Vasquez.
The Harry Morrison Award is presented to the troop commander and troop first sergeant whose troop had acquired the most Harry Morrison points throughout the year. The troop name and names of the troop commander and troop first sergeant have been added to the Harry Morrison Trophy. This year's winning troop was Bravo Troop with the first sergeant, Gabriel Richardson. The Colonel Andreas M. Martin, the U.S. Army 1989 high school grad, 1991 junior college graduate, Best Yearling Cadet Award is given to a high school yearling in each troop who has learned and led through observation while maintaining the highest standards of personal appearance, deportment, and grades. The following cadets have received this year's award. From Alpha Troop, John Sandoval, Bravo Troop, Logan Reedley. Charlie Troop, Leon Kaufman Martinez. From Delta Troop, Clarice Coelho. And from Headquarters Troop, Taiki Prosser Fong. The Colonel Andreas Marton Best Old Cadet Award is awarded to a cadet in each troop who has returned at the beginning of the year as an old cadet and has met the standards throughout the year and demonstrated outstanding characteristics of leadership, deportment, and academics and core life. The two, two, two awardees are from Alpha Troop, Mikhail Leike, from, and from Headquarters Troop, Devin Gallegos. Major General will present two Masonic affiliated awards. Major General Grizzle is a 32nd degree Mason, a Scottish Rite Master Craftsman, and a Shriner. The Scottish Rite of Freemasonry Award is presented to a cadet for demonstrating academic excellence and potential for leadership and patriotism and exhibiting the qualities of dependability, good citizenship, and patriotism. This year's Scottish Rite of Freemasonry Award is presented to Matthew McCargish. The National Sojourners Award from the Kit Carson Chapter of Albuquerque is awarded to the cadet who demonstrated the most, encourage, most encouragement and demonstrated American, Americanism within the Corps of Cadets. The National Sojourners Award is presented to Tegan Maloney. The, 
The Department of the Army Superior Cadet Award is awarded to the cadet in each junior ROTC class with the highest academic and physical achievement in, in the program. The following high school cadets will receive this year's Superior Cadet Awards. Let one, Victor Barbosa. Let one, let one, Lucas Tang. Let two, Norberto Reina Flores. Let three, Mary Catherine Olvera. The final awards are Sabre Awards, which are given for exceptional leadership capabilities. The Brooks Fraser 1964 Memorial Leadership Award is presented annually for, to a returning second class cadet contracted with, the U, contracted with ROTC who expects to receive his or her commission in the U.S. Army. He or she must be a troop commander or higher in his or her first class year and in the upper 10% of her, his or her class. Major General will present the Brooke Fraser Award to Mackenzie Kirsch. The Lewis, Lewis and Ray, Lorraine Wigner Memorial Scholarship Saber was established in 2008 by Mr. Charles w Wigner, a 1977 junior college graduate, and is awarded to a returning platoon leader and headquarters troop in memorial, in memory of uh, Miss, Mr. Wigner's parents, Lewis and Lorraine Wigner. This year's Wigner Saber will be presented to. Layla Bonner. The Colonel H.D. Chips Woodruff, U.S. Air Force retired, 1938 junior college graduate Memorial Saber is given to a returning second classman selected for a leadership role. This year's Woodruff Saber is presented to Max Wignall. The, Ro the Orrell Saber is given in memory of Colonel G. Seth Orrell, 1929 high school, high school graduate and 1931 college graduate, and in honor of his son, Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Orrell, uh, 1963 high school graduate, 1965 high college graduate, both of whom commanded squadrons in their first class year as cadets. The Oral Saber is presented to Mary Catherine Olvera.
The John C. Lusk, 1986 high school graduate, 1988 junior college graduate, Memorial Sabre, is presented to the second classman who completed a minimum of three years at NMMI and is qualified to be a cadet officer in the next year. They must, be, must demonstrate outstanding leadership and preferably be seeking a career in, the military, a career in military service. This year's Lusk Memorial Sabre will be presented to Charlie Melton Hovland. The Samuel Mick C. Goodwin 1937 Award. <clears throat> the family of Brigadier General Samuel, Samuel Goodwin, U.S. Army retired, class of 1937, presents a saber each year to a cadet who demonstrated outstanding abilities and, and excellence in the performance of their duties. This year's General Goodwin saber is presented to Natasha Nat sorry, Natasha Simaret. The Commandant Sabre is presented by the Commandant Cadets to a cadet for excelling in all areas of cadet life, including academic excellence, athletic participation, involvement in extracurricular activities, demonstrated military proficiency, motivation, and leadership to the core, to the core by personal example. This year's winner of the Commandant Sabre is Emily Spaniel. The, D the Dean Sabre is presented to a cadet for excelling in all areas of cadet life and especially outstanding in the areas of academic excellence. This accomplishment is not only an, indiv an individual one, but is reflective of setting superior academic example in and out of the classroom. This year's Dean Sabre Award is presented to Amanda Hull, or Amelia Hull. The Mildred K. Anderson Award is presented to the top female cadet in the second class. The recipient receiving the savior is Dominique James. The James K. Anderson Award is presented to the first sergeant who best demonstrates qualities of duty, honor, and achievement, and who is returning for junior college. Receiving the saber is Tom Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we invite our superintendent, Major General Grizzle, to the podium for closing comments.
Well, I won't keep everyone long. We've been here quite a while, and I appreciate everybody's patience and indulgence, but this is something we do twice a year. I say this same thing every year. We'll take whatever time is necessary to recognize all the great things you, our cadets, do. This year was an exceptional year, as you can see, with the number of awards that we presented. I hope the new cadets in the room will have one of those picked out that you believe that you want to go after. We'll be giving that to you in the spring. There are tremendous awards, from medals to ribbons to money, scholarships. Each of you should look at those awards in that brochure and find one that you think fits you, and you should try your best to be here. I want to do one other quick thing. I was going to send a note to everybody, but since we have a large contingent from each of these groups here, I wanted to tell you thank you for the start of our athletic season. I think you know by now that the Bronco football had a great scrimmage. It was not a win-loss. It wasn't intended to be that way. It was a, a learning experience, and it was a great one, I understand. The Colts won their game Friday night in Elmogorda, and the volleyball girls took all four games that they played in this weekend. The one unique thing I wanted to tell you, if you haven't already heard this, you know, we make some games mandatory. I understand that you call them mandatory fun, and that's what it's intended to be, but there's a second purpose behind that. You can see that your attendance, staff, faculty, and core can change the complexion of a game real quickly. Thursday night, the opening game of the tournament, we had a large crowd. There's probably close to 1,000 people in Cahoon, counting all the core, all of the other athletes and, and uh, staff and faculty that were there. But you did something that if you haven't heard, I wanted to tell you about. You know, you've all heard about decibels and decibel levels and how one thing, it can hurt your hearing if you're not careful. But Thursday night, uh, you, everyone in the room, registered over 90 on a decibel meter. And what that means, if you look it up when you leave here, you'll see that that was as loud as a rock concert. And so you can see if you're a team that's visiting and you're only used to having maybe two or 300 people in your home gymnasium, and we do that to a team, that it can turn the tide of the game. The last game yesterday, we were down 10 points and came back and scored 10 unanswered points thanks to you and your attendance and support of the teams. So thank you all for that. We're off to a great season, a great semester in all aspects in all three of our pillars that we run the school in, and I can't thank you enough for that. So thank you for your time here this evening. I look forward to the spring when we do this again and recognize all the new winners of these great awards. Thank you. Thank you, General Grizzle. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for attending our award ceremony, and congratulations once again to all of our award recipients. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you.